how this stuff works. But anyway, moving on to a very, very adorable story. And it's got an amazing ending. Um, just shows, you know, like when you do good, you get rewarded. Now, quick thinking Dubai expats save a pregnant cat from falling to her death. Now, it's so easy not to care, to ignore, to pass judgments. But what's touching is when, and I mean, what actually counts is when someone goes the extra mile to help those in need. And on that note, here's a wholesome story that will really have you smiling cheek to cheek. Now, um, a video shared by Rashid bin Mohammed quick, uh, shows quick thinking Dubai expats. Were you smiling from cheek to cheek? Yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it shows quick thinking Dubai expats saving a pregnant cat from falling to her death from a residential building in Dera at 8 a.m. yesterday, which is Tuesday, August 24th, yesterday morning. And now, seriously, this just goes on to show not all heroes wear capes, and these heroes deserve all the recognition for saving a life with their impromptu rescue. Now, what they did was they had these sheets held up. They saw the cat trying to... Uh, trying to escape like it was stuck in the balcony we're not sure how but it's a street cat and she's pregnant and she was stuck and they saw that and they got out sheets super quick thinking and they held it beneath like in a big surface area just beneath the balcony so when the cat did fall she landed on the sheets and they made sure that the sheet didn't hit the ground it was like pulled stretched so that you know like she didn't hit the floor and it was so brilliant i'm sure you've seen the video it's like such a cute video like it's all over now but it's just amazing everyone came together for this little pregnant cat no one knew she was pregnant at the time obviously amazing amazing like really we hear of people abusing animals on an everyday basis so acts of kindness like this like should never go unappreciated and it's amazing like we shared it on our platform Uh, other publications shared it on their platforms and the comments were just so amazing like just thanking these heroes and praising them as they deserve. Um, and like really, it's, it's... It's just a sheer act of kindness and being aware that there's a cat that was in need. You know, not yeah. every people would go the extra mile of getting the blanket. A lot of people would... No words describe this. It's just beautiful. <laughs> people really like... You see a cat who's meowing, who's making too much noise, you kick it off or, you know, you just ignore it, you walk away. I don't. But then there are people... Let's I love cats. Here. I prefer cats over dogs. So to me, this video means a lot. To see that the general public <laughs> is looking out for this poor little cat. Yeah. Be it cats <laughs> or dogs or any animal. Are you a cat person or a dog person? I'm an animal person. But I'm a, more of a dog person. Should have expected that answer. Yeah. It's just like really this was the most heart touching video ever. Rich shared it yesterday morning and it's, it just made our day in It the really office. It really did. <laughs> and these incredible men must be protected at all costs. And I think uh, Dubai's ruler thinks the very, very same uh, because, because, can we get a drum roll? His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and the Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, stumbled across this viral rescue and tweeted, Proud and happy to see such acts of kindness in our beautiful city. And whoever identifies these unsung heroes, please help us thank them. So They deserve all the thanks in the world. I'm so happy you. that everyone's recognizing this video. Honestly, more people just need to be aware of the small things that they can do throughout the day. And the fact that they received such recognition for it, they deserve it. Because obviously they wouldn't do it. For, no one knew that they were recording them. Yeah, like the people yeah. holding the blankets. Wasn't a know. publicity stunt. Yeah, wasn't exactly. anything to promote their you know, grocery or cafeteria or anything. <laughs> or their sheets. Or their sheets. <laughs> and they even fed the cat afterwards. Like You can see them petting the cat after they let her down from the blanket. And then they also gave her tuna and they gave her some liquids to kind of just get her. Because she was... very distorted at the mm. end of it like you know on panic mode but then they got her to relax gave her food oh so 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 sweet so do take a page from the story and give back to the community as much as you can and help someone in trouble or just do as little as putting out food for strays because it's really the little things like this in life that mean the most and by the way after posting that video so many people are asking if that cat got adopted if anyone else is taking care of that cat so like This cat story goes on. <laughs> we need we to keep will, up with yes, what's happening. Yes, we will tell you if she gets adopted or when she has a litter of kitties, what happens to them. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I need a cat, but I don't want 
the little kitchen to soften my mini studio. <laughs> uh, so, but you're never home. <clears throat> I would, I would, you know, wouldn't you want the cat to go to a home where like there are people around? Yeah, but cats are chill. They don't need anyone to take care of them. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, they're not like dogs. Dogs, yeah. you, you have to take the them out. Cats for, can take care of themselves. Yeah, oh. they wouldn't notice that you're gone. <laughs> oh, they do. They wouldn't care, sorry, for clarification. Have you had pets? Have you had a cat? I've had cats, yeah. Aww. Same. Aww. Aww. Mm. Um, my dad does not like keeping animals confined in a small space, so I think that stuck with me. So if I had a bigger house, I'd definitely have a cat. Talk about my dad a lot on the show. Yeah. <laughs> But I... Daddy issues right here. <laughs> I, just, I just feel bad about confining a cat to a miniature space, you know, so... Maybe if I move into a bigger place, fingers crossed. I feel like he's going to send this clip to his parents after the show and be like, Look what you've uh, done to me. <laughs> that or like, I know you're playing, paying for my studio now, but how about an upgrade? <laughs> the cat needs help. The cat, What? we're doing it for the cat. This isn't about me, dad. This is about the cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but moving on to exciting 